Hello everyone. Welcome to California Challenge, a new series of workout by California Fitness and Yoga. My name is Ricky and I will be showing you guys six pack workout for beginners. What you need is just one yoga mat and you can do this workout anywhere. If you want to find a customizable fitness and nutrition solution, please do not forget to check our sales promotion on personal training on California Fitness and Yoga fan page. We will help you to achieve your fitness goals. So let's get you guys started. Okay, let's start with the warm up. We're going to do some stretches and after that we're going to do some mobility exercises to get your body ready for your abs workout. So let's start. Feet wide, hands on the head, stretch. 5 to 10 seconds on the right side. Now switch. Now cross your fingers, pull it behind your neck. Down. Now five seconds, gentle pressure, thumbs under the chin, push. Then, keep your hands on your hips, roll your shoulders, four to five times backwards, just to mobilize your shoulders, four to five reps forward. Take your right arm across your chest, pull your hands to your chest. Change, other side. Now, try to bring your feet together, cross your fingers, three steps, up over your head, second on your chest, and then you try to touch the floor. If you cannot touch the floor, it's fine. Just try to go as low as possible for every stretch. One more rep. Good. Now, we're gonna step wide. Not too wide, just enough so that we can go down. Hands on your thighs, lean towards one side, stretch. Now this stretch is going to help you work on your inner thighs, on your quads, and your glutes. Chain side. Okay, one more time. And this time, try to put your knees just over your toes. Change. Keeping the same stance, we face one side into a lunge and both palms on the floor. We stay here for 10 seconds. And once you start to feel the stretch, you drop on the knees, bring your hands up and stretch. Open your chest. Three, two, one. Chain side, back to starting, other side. Hands on your thighs, if you're not very flexible, if you feel that you're flexible, get on the floor, stretch. Knees down, bring your hands up, open your chest, stretch. Very good. Hands on the thighs, up. Now we're going to do a series of exercises which is called inchworm. This is really good for your warm up. So feet outside, you're gonna squat down, walk forward, stretch your legs, up, hands behind your head, cross. This is going to be a full body warm up. So let's do this for one minute, okay? Walk, back, Cross. <clears throat> I'm going to show you from side. So hands wide, chest up, you sit down. Walk forward, lock your knees, lock your shoulders. Walk backwards, cross. Give me one more rep. All right, toe touches from your spot. Take your hands up, touch the toes. By this time, you will feel that your heart rate is going up because my heart rate is up and I'm getting ready for an amazing workout. Few more reps and 
Now we change. Next one is called butt kicks. Open up your palms on the butt and then switch right and left. The beauty of this workout is that you can do it anywhere. You just need a small space, just like this, and we're good to go. And the last one is called jumping jacks. Hands just outside your hips, out and in. Please make sure when you jump out, your knees are outside your toes, okay? Few more reps. All right. Let's do the first warm up exercise again. Feet closed to your chest, up. We do it five times. That's one. That's two. That's three. Four. Five. Step wide, just four times. Right side, left, right, left. Then we lunge, just one time on each side. Stretch, center, chain side, stretch. Good, inchworm, five times. Hands out, sit, walk forward, walk back. Cross. If you guys are with me, you'll see that I started to sweat a little bit. It's a good sign. <laughs> oh boy. And the best part is, it's not even the workout. It's just your warm up. This 15 minute workout will help you to burn calories if you do it early morning. You got two more reps. Okay, last one. So that's the warm up. If you feel you're warmed up, the next step is that we start the workout. If you feel you need more time, you can give yourself maybe another one more round of the same sequence and we're good to go. So, let's start your beginner's abs workout. You need to open a mat. Lie down on the mat with the feet close to the edge of the mat. First workout is called leg raises. So you're gonna open up your palms, keep it close to your hips. I'm going to start the time, the workout is one minute, okay? So, feet extended, toes pointed slightly out, you lift your legs over your hips, halfway on the floor. So you go up, and then halfway on the floor. Make sure when you bring your legs up, your back is flat. Easy option, bend the knees, stretch. Try to keep your head down, chin in. As you stretch your legs, breathe out. So you can do easy option or you can do regulars. Up. This one is a really good workout to engage your lower abs. So as you bring your legs up, try to breathe out. As you bring your legs down, try to breathe in. We got five seconds. and time. In between the sets, we're gonna take 20 second break so that I can show you the next workout. So, next workout is called Bicycle Crunch. This one is a little bit different, so please watch. Hands behind your neck, feet extended, and then we crunch single time, alternate knee and elbow, stretch, cross, Stretch. Okay, let's do this. Second exercise, one minute. Time starts now. Uh, 
as you bring your knees in, if you look at me, I'm breathing out. The breathing out helps us to engage more core muscles. So every time that you go up, if you breathe out, that's the main focus of any abs exercise. We got a few more seconds. Easy option, feet on the floor. You crunch halfway, up and down. At any point, you can change your option from easy to hard. And time. Exercise number three. This is called toe touch. From the same position, you're gonna stretch your legs up. Make sure that the legs are slightly over your hips. If they are there, no problem, that's fine. From here, you need to reach out and then try to touch your toes. We're gonna to do it for one minute. And we will do this with a rep of three. Means three on, one break. Watch this. Three, two, one, rest. You go up, three, two, one, rest. Up, three, two, one, rest. Make sure when you're doing this, you same breathe out, reach out, see if you can go really far towards your toes. If you can't, no problem, go halfway. We have 30 more seconds, guys. Easy option, you bend your knees, stretch your arms, three, two, one, reset. You're going to try to touch your ankles. Last one. Break. Good job. Next workout. Number four is called starfish. Now this needs to be done really slow because it's a complicated movement. So I'm gonna show you how to do this one. So, you're gonna stretch your arms, stretch your toes, right side and left side. Alternate. Right and left. You're gonna do this four times and then take a break for one minute. In three, two, one, let's do this. One, two, one, three, four, and break. Then you go up again. One, two, three, four, break. At any point you feel it's too hard for you, you can do the easy option where you lift your hands, lift your legs, and then stretch right and left. Benefit is same, because you're working on cross link. One more. Last one. Rest. Whoa. By this time, your abs must be on fire because my abs are on fire. <laughs> Next one, obliques. So, you're gonna lie down sideways, feet extended, your lower arms fully stretched out, and then your top arm is going to be behind your neck. From here, you need to go sideways, crunch, and down. Easy option, keep your arms forward, crunch, release. When you go up, you're working on your obliques. As you go down, you're stretching them. One minute, total. 30 seconds each side. Three, two, one, go. Same pattern, as you go up, you breathe out. 
Keep a check on the time so that you know you're on the time, you're not doing too much. Five more seconds. And stop. Then you can change the side, just slide on your butt. Change the side, stretch your arms, hands behind. Three, two, one, and let's go. The target is that elbows and knees should touch, and then you release. Gotta check time, five seconds. Every second is hard. Last one. All right. So these are your five exercises. You have to do it at least two to three times. And in between the sets, please take breaks. I hope you enjoy the workout, guys. That's all the exercises today. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to do these exercises at least three to four times a week to get maximum result. If you like the video, definitely smash the like button, give your comments, share the videos, and do not forget to subscribe to California Fitness and Yoga channel. See you.